What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve quadratic equations by factoring, all right? So this is your quadratic equation, right? AX squared plus BX plus C, and you just set it equal to zero. Okay, so this is basically what all of your problems should look like before you start trying to factor it, okay? So as always, if there's a specific example you wanna see, just let me know in the comment section below. But these are the examples I'm going to run through right now. So let's start with this one right here. x squared plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, so the first thing you can see is that we already have it in the form that we're looking for, right? It's in this exact same form where it's equal to 0 at the end, okay? So that means I can start factoring it. So as you can see, we have a leading coefficient of just a 1 right there, right? So here I can write my parentheses. And uh, so here we're just going to have an x squared. So I know I have an x here and an x here, okay? And then to figure out these numbers right here, I need to look at my last number right here, right? My, my c. So what two numbers multiply, we'll write it right here, what two numbers multiply to give you negative eight, but also add up to positive two, right? Because this middle number tells you what the difference has to be between those two numbers, right? So in this case, the two numbers would be a negative two, and a positive four, right? Because negative two times four, that's equal to negative eight, but negative two plus four is equal to positive two, right? Which is what we're looking for right here, positive two, okay? So then these two numbers that we found right here, negative two and positive four, those are what go here. Negative two, positive four, okay? And don't forget, this is all equal to zero, all right? So how do you solve for your x's right here? Well, all you have to do is take each of your parentheses and set them equal to zero, okay? So you're gonna have x minus two is equal to zero, and you're gonna have x plus four is equal to zero, okay? Now these are pretty easy to solve, right, for x. So here, x would be equal to two, and here, x would be equal to negative four, right? So then those are your two answers right there for x. Okay, and if you wanna check each of your answers, you can do that, okay? So let's check x is equal to two first. So we're gonna plug it into this equation right here, okay? So if we plug in a two for x right here, here we're gonna have two minus two, and two minus two, that's equal to zero, right? So here we're gonna have zero times, and then if we have a two here, we're gonna have two plus four, which is equal to six, right? Is zero times six equal to zero? Well, yes it is. Okay, and now we can check our other x. So now let's check the negative four. So we're gonna plug in negative four for x right here and negative four for x right here, right? So negative four minus two, that's equal to negative six, and then that's gonna be multiplied by uh, these set of parentheses, negative four plus four, that's equal to zero, right? So is negative six times zero equal to zero? Yes, it is. Okay, so that is why we set each of these things inside the parentheses equal to zero right here, okay? Because as long as one of your parentheses are equal to zero, the whole thing is gonna be equal to zero, right? So again, that's why we set each one equal to zero. All right, now let's go to this one right here. So here we have two y squared minus two y is equal to 24. All right, so the first thing you notice is it is not in the same form as this one up here, right? We don't have a zero over here, we have a 24. So what I need to do is move this 24 to that side, all right? And you do that by simply subtracting 24. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So we subtract 24 from this side also. So then here, I'm just gonna be left with 2y squared minus 2y minus 24, right? And then that's gonna be equal to 24 minus 24, which is just equal to zero. All right, cool. So now you can see it is in the form that we're looking for, right? We have our quadratic equal to zero, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is see if there's anything that you can factor out of these three terms right here, okay? Is there anything these three terms are divisible by? Well, yes, there is, right? These are all divisible by two. So that means I can pull a two out, all right? So then what are we gonna have left in our parentheses right here? Well, here, two y squared divided by two, that's just equal to y squared. Here, negative two y divided by two, that's equal to negative y. And then negative 24 divided by two, that's equal to negative 12, all right? And then don't forget, this is still equal to zero. Okay, so now we just have to factor what's right here in the middle, okay? And as you can see, it has a leading coefficient of one right here, right, one y squared. So if we factor this, 
uh, y squared, that means I'm going to have a y here and a y here, right? And then again, to get the other two terms we're looking for here, we need to look at our last number right here, which is a negative 12, right? So what two numbers multiply to negative 12, but also add up to negative 1, right? Because there's basically a coefficient of 1 right here, right? So it has to have a difference or add up to negative 1. Well, that would be a positive 3 and a negative 4, right? Because 3 times negative 4, that's equal to negative 12. And 3 plus negative 4, that's equal to negative 1, right? So that's what we're looking for right here, right? Negative 1. So these are the two numbers I'm going to use, a 3 and a negative 4, okay? So positive 3, negative 4, okay? Now, also, let's not forget to bring down the rest of our terms. So bring down the 2 that we factored out here. And again, this is equal to 0. Okay, so now that this is completely factored, again, the last thing you have to do is just take each of your parentheses right here and set them equal to zero, okay? So here we're gonna have y plus three is equal to zero, and here we're gonna have y minus four, okay? Y minus four is equal to zero, right? So then to solve for y right here, y would simply be equal to negative three, and here y would be equal to positive four, okay? So then these y's right here, both of these would be your answers. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.